All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a product landing page user stories at number 15. So our product landing page should utilize CSX, pardon, pardon me, CSS Flexbox at least once. Okay. So for this one, what we're going to need to do, what we're going to use this on is this section right here, these uh, three sections. But the thing is, we're going to need to put these in it in its own div so that we can target that div. So let's make a new div, div like this, and then close div like that. And then let's get in. A, let's give it an ID of flex. Why not? ID equals. Let's give it a class. I don't like hitting the uh, hitting the hashtag class equals flex. How about that? So now let's uh, get this up to here, all three of these. Let's uh, just drag them in between these two angle brackets, just like that. Press enter on this div just so we can format it. And then we'll select all three of these divs inside and press tab one time. Move them over a little bit. All right, so now we've got that. Now we've got a, a class of flex right here that we can uh, play around with. Let's fix this up just a little bit. Come on now. Uh, so now we've got this class of flex that we can play around with. There we go. And so let's go over to uh, styles.css. So we're going to target the class of flex. So target flex. All right. And we'll just give it a display of flex. And there we go. But as you see, this is a little bit too scrunched together. So let's give the thing, let's... uh. Also target the uh, unordered list items. So right up here, and let's give them a pardon me the list items, and let's give them a margin of to ten px. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing at all. Uh, display flex. Let's give these a margin of ten. Let's see if we can do that. Margin ten. Uh, not good enough. So let's actually give the section IDs, uh, let's give these sections some uh, section IDs or something like that. Let's come over here and let's give them IDs. They've already got IDs. Let's give them the class of section while we're at it. Then. How about that? So let's say class equals, and then we'll put inside this section, all right? And let's take it from the quote all the way to this quote, copy it and paste them after each one of these quotes. One, two, should be good. All right, so let's get rid of this, come back over here, and let's target the section. So let's say dot section, and now inside of these curly braces, once I can figure it out, let's put margin 10 px. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Now we've got something a little bit more spaced out, looks a little bit better. And that's more CSS than we've done so far. So there we go. So now let's uh, open up the console, run the tests, and that's all we got to do. I could have come up with something better. Anyway, whatever. So let's submit it. All right. Looks like we're at learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel. That might be interesting. And it's only 29. So now we're going to be doing, after this, we'll be doing the uh, intro to this, and we'll see you next time.